guys, it is Val here from Collect Ink at blogspot.com and I have another box opening ready to go. And this time it's something really different. Yu Yu Hakusho Ghost Files trading card game. Yeah, this is definitely an older box. This box came out back in 2003 and I just really love the sides of this. 24 packs per box, 10 cards per booster pack. Yeah, the excitement starts here. And I remember when this came out back in 2003, I was definitely too poor to afford this and I wasn't doing trading cards back then. I was still in school and stuff, so. And of course this box is really old, so it's been through some rough times, but Yusuke looks really cool there. And nothing on the back. But definitely an awesome box, really cool art. and. I just really wanted to pick this up. It's just been forever since I picked up an old box of cards, and I was feeling nostalgic for some 90s anime goodness. So, if you haven't seen Yu Yu Hakusho and you're really into shonen stuff, it's really fun. It's really cool. It's got a lot of action, and it definitely has a lot of humor. So, I'm really excited to see what these cards look like. I haven't even seen the cards yet, but yeah. So that's what it looks like to open up the box, and already these packs are awesome! Wow, these look cool. Oh my gosh. Here's my man Kuwabara. This pack is so cool. I love that it's so dark, and then the silver is olive oil. So it's really shiny. Let's see what the back says. Stand up and fight. Yu Hakusho booster pack. I wonder if this website's still up been, what, 11 years since? No, maybe 12? Now that's 2015? This box came out, like I said, in 2003. Yeah, I don't have a starter deck, so these are just to collect the cards and see what they're all about. Cool, we've got a Hie cover. Same deal, same kind of dark Shadow Realm holographic foil. Hie <laughs> looks cool there, wow. These look really good. Yes. Very cool. Same deal. And it looks like the last pack art here is Yusuke. Urameshi. I can't believe I remember that. It's been so long since I've seen the show. I read the manga more, I think, but it was on Toonami, so you always ended up tuning in anyway. Alright, I'm not too sure what kind of card ratios there are. But here's what the back of the cards look like. Let's see what we got going on. Oh, so cute. Overpowered. Wow, that looks cool. Toya. Ice Cutlass draw card. Oh, that's cool. So a lot of these look like attack cards and item cards. Wow. And it's definitely from the anime, so... It's weird to see these and have flashbacks. Oh my god, that Minotaur. These are so cool. Masterful speed while Kuwabara is like about to eat it in that card. <laughs> Suzuka, oh cool. Actually, I'm trying to figure out what the rarity is. This is obviously a team symbol. Rare 3 out of 176. Cool, so I might even get a full set out of this box alone, given the numbers. 10 cards, 240. Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got going on. Oh man, is that not just the pinnacle of 90s nostalgia goodness as far as the animation quality? It just, there's a certain width to the lines and a certain kind of blur around each of the colors that you just really notice it. Tears of Blood! Look at that card! Oh my gosh, that's so... What does it even say? Choose one of your villain characters. He is a now a hero until the game ends. Oh, that's cool. There's like hero and villain mechanics in this set. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, that's cool. God, that's from early on, too. 
heroic team. Oh, that's a cool card. Yeah. I like that one. Kuwabara looks really cool like this. They even have a figure of it. I'm, I've considered getting it, as you can tell. I like that. Urumeshi. Rose Whiplash. It's kind of weird because they have this strange fade on the corners of the art, so it looks like things kind of get cut, cut off a little bit, but it's not bad. Wow, that's cool. Overwhelming Kill. Drop Elbow. <laughs> that's cool. This show had a lot of great moves and... Ooh, big truck going by. And it just had a lot of humor to it. Ultimate Test. It, it was just really fun. It was a good one. Just very shonen classic. I don't know that people even talk about it anymore, but I saw this box for cheap and I could not... could not resist. Maze Castle. Oh my god, I, I even remember seeing this episode where they're in there. And like, Hiei and uh, Kuwabara are arguing the whole time. Sabotage. Just cool card art, yeah. Contract Killer. Weapons Master. Zombies on the Hunt. Eflux. Whoa, that's cool. That's creepy. And the Shadow Sword. Oh, Streaming Sphere. That's right. Discard this item to search your discard pile for a technique and attach it to this character. Hey, that's not a bad card, actually. As far as playing this card set, I know a long time ago I knew someone that actually did play this, but I never actually saw a game of it. I don't know really the directions. I'm pretty sure the wiki page still has all the directions on how to play, but as far as finding these cards anymore, it's hard. Grizzly Claw. I love the, like, weird shadow from that over his eye. He looks a little lazy-eyed there. Usashi. Oh, cool. Flurry of Blows. That's neat card art. I like that one. Very cool. Reduction. Timeout. <laughs> Good timeout. Combat Knives. Yeah, just a guy with a knife. Oh, all for one and one for all. I like these card titles. Oh, Spirit Beast Egg. Yay. Cool. The titles on these cards are really fun, <laughs> actually. I'm getting a kick out of this. I'm waiting for my Pokemon box to come in, but in the meantime, these were around and I couldn't resist. It's weird, I automatically want a card trick, because I've been opening so many Pokemon packs. But... Throwing knives. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that sick smile. This guy is so proud of himself. Evil tendencies. The Eat Unbox. Defensive posture. Teamwork. Oh, yeah. Girls. Go do it. Protective restraint. Transcendent might. Oh, and Jin. Jin in the English dub, I think, had a very Irish accent. Am I misrecalling that? Anyway, he had, like, wind powers. Either you know that or you don't, I think. I don't know why I'm announcing it. I just want to talk about the cards. Seriously, these, these packs are so cool looking. I really dig them. Oh, cool. Shishi. That's neat. That was from the tournament. A lot of these are. Oh, wow. Wow, abnormal endurance. That is some abnormal endurance. Holy. Oof. Shotgun. Chinpo, the Wanderer. Armor of the Ape. Kibano. Ice Dragon. That's cool. I, I always like card arts where a fist is about to hit your face. I don't know why. Communication mirrors. Whoa, I didn't even think there were any holographic cards. Wow, that's cool. So this is a super rare, I guess, from the S. That's cool. Dragon of the Darkness Flame. That's freaking awesome. And it's the, that kind of scratch pattern hollow. 
I kind of want to do a video about the different hollow patterns you find on cards. It's weird because they aren't all kind of called the same thing. Whoa, that's cool. What's also interesting to note, I know it bothers people, but these lines that you sometimes see on holographic cards are actually print lines because the way cards are made, it's sheets of holographic material that go on top of cards and the print line is the corners of each sheet. Because if you can't get it in a big consistent roll, it kind of does that on cards every once in a while. You, you kind of can't help it, really, when you see that. Yeah, that looks cool. That's a great card to pull. And I love this card. Cool Bara. Man, he was funny. He was funny both in Japanese and the English dub. I think Chris Sabat did his English voice. I don't remember really well. I don't remember everyone's voice actor. Well, now I'm super excited that I know I can get holo cards in this as well. This is turning out way better than I was expecting. Axe Blade Fist. Whoa. Gamma. Imaki. Oh, God, I remember that. Face. The Jog and Eye, of course. Shulrin. Alley Fight for Ekichi. <laughs> I love Kuwabara's faces. Like, it, throughout the manga and the anime series, like, Yusuke and Kuwabara have excellent expressions. Oh, cool. Here's another one of the super rares. The Genkai Bunch. Oh, I love that. It's it's cubes like the Brady Bunch. And actually, this, this hollow doesn't have, even have any print lines, so it's all one unit. That is hilarious. Look, look at Kubara. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, man, I'm getting such a kick. Oh, the lucky winners! I have a gif of this on my Pinterest. I found it recently because I just love this picture. Look at that face. Oh man, they look great. <laughs> what a cool card. I'm so happy. I'm just giggling over here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not being very insightful. But I'm having fun. That's all that matters on these. Okay. Cool. Toya again. Overpowered. These are really cool. Aww. That, I love, I didn't even notice this Minotaur card just says Moo. That's all it does, it just moves. These are just precious in their own way. Like some of them are just really cool and some of them are just really funny. Kind of like the show, so that works out really well. Oh man, if I'd opened these back in the day, I would have been obsessed. I'm telling you. It's a good thing I didn't have money back then. Dangerous. Move my card pile. I love this pack. Kuwabara looks so cool. I really liked Kuwabara, obviously. I tend to like really uh, punky, dorky characters. Like tough guys that actually have a lot of heart. Tears of blood. If you guys have been following me on Collecting long enough, you know. That's kind of my jam. Reversal. That's a cool looking card. I like that. Tornado Fist. Yeah, Jin had wind powers. See, I remember. It, it's been a long time, though. I'd love to just have a night to just rewatch these with someone, though. That'd be cool. I actually heard the commentary. It was really funny on the DVDs, so maybe someday I'll pick those up, too. I'm not sure. Roda. Demon Compass. This Demon Compass looks so cool. It even has a little swirl in the middle. I, why didn't they make a watch like that? I'd own that watch. Wah. Cool. The best defense. <laughs> That's a great card. That's awesome. Sabotage. Maze Castle. Ah, oh, Burst of Power Super Rare. Oh, this is cool. I love that they used card art where he's actually glowing and then put all the really bright hollow around him. Like, if you're going to do that hollow cards, you, you have to really consider what kind of art you're using. That's fantastic. It even has kind of a blue-green effect. 
Draw three cards, limit one per deck. Ooh, cool. So this must be like, the green cards must be to kind of power up technical cards. Transcendent Might. That's awesome. Look at that card art. Very cool. Wow, that was a fun pack. These are awesome. I kind of can't get over how much fun these are. Okay, I wonder how many super rares come in a box. I've already got three. I wonder if I've hit my limit. Well, that's a new one, Spider Demon. Oh, I would be terrified. Time out. Spirit Gun Double! Yay! Spirit Gun. Theft in the Dark. Spirit Dump! I don't know of anything else that has quite a card name like that. Oh man, that's great. Oh, Miyuki looks cute. Backyard Dummy. <laughs> How did he get green pants for it? <laughs> oh, Kubara, you're a gem. Oh, neat. Fists of the Mortal Flame. Wow, fun pack. Oop, shifting my box like crazy. I don't know that I'll ever get to open a card box of Yu Yu Hakusho again, so... I really wanted to film this one, even if um, you guys aren't interested too much. But sometimes it's really fun to see older card designs. Actually, I really like the black border design on these. God, that card. Shotgun. I will always say it like that. Armor of the Ape. Cabano. Ice Dragon. Whoa! Power Strike. Oh, Kuwabara. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. I love the way they do these hollows. They kind of leave a lot of transparent space and let the hollow kind of work for the lighter parts. That is so cool. Oh, and you can actually see the print lines again. See, there's a crosshair. I don't mind it since I know what it is, but I know most collectors really don't want cards with print lines, but... Oh my god, this card is so cool. There's so much power. Look at that. Man, it really catches the light really well. Aw, oh, Kuwabara. Did I not even get this card yet? We're this far in. Alley Brawling and for Yukina's Love. <laughs> These are cool. Wow. That was awesome. I feel like every single super rare card I've been pulling in this just keeps getting better and better. I don't know. I'm curious what you guys think of these cards. If you like the card design or... Uh... God, that's cool. Spiritual safeguard. If you guys even like the card design on these, if you like the art, if you think there should have been better art. God, that's intimidating. Shinobi disguise. Look at that. That's crazy. Psychic spyglass. Who doesn't want one of those? I swear. Weapons master. <laughs> Desperate temper. Yeah, that's the boys, all right. Oh, God. That's even more them rash brawling. That was such a staple of so many animes. And I think they still use it, but not as much. The really bulgy eyes. I love it. Kubar is just having a blast. Spirit cuffs. Awesome. I really like those old anime expressions. I say old, but they're not really old in the sense. They're just older and not nearly as used. You still get goofy expressions anymore, and it's half the fun, especially in One Piece. Yeah, I'm liking these packs a lot. Chog and I. Shorin. <laughs> oh, cool! So this is a super rare and ultra rare? It says a U. Of an actual character. So, Fuzaku, Makai Master. That's neat. That's cool. I think I like the super rares more because the card art seems more centered around it. This means seems to be more centered around the character. That's a really cool card. And signature moves. Spirit gun. 
but I'm sad that this box is running out because it was so fun. Do you guys, speaking to anyone who is viewing this that did watch Yu Yu Hakusho, do you guys have a favorite character? I'm always curious about that. Kubara and Yusuke are kind of my bros. Wow, I have a lot of Minotaur cards and I'm realizing. Deadly Attack. Oh man, how cool is that guy? Robotic Effigy. Oh, Efficiency. I thought it said Effigy. I was like, what? Can't read. Rando. Oh, I was hoping for a kitty card with Kuwabara, but I thought, oh, that's dumb. Why would I want that? But here it is. Kuwabara and his kitty. Kitty love. Draw two cards. Eh, not bad. Hey, it's a she, is the quote on the bottom. I should read some of these quotes on these cards. Oh, man. That's cute. It had, it had a very good balance of fighting and humor. This series, it was so good. Gamma. Blade Fist. Crota. Kiei's Sword Mastery. See, I haven't even seen this card yet. We just pulled it. Demon Compass. Wow. I love how some of these are just so new. Like, Meteor Charge? I didn't see this. That's cool. Wow. Spirit Wave. Yeah, I didn't have this one either yet. Really interesting art, the way it really fades around with color. Some of them are very straight on, just screenshots from the anime, and others are really particularly chosen for their design, I find. <laughs> I'm giggling because it, they're just so them. I don't know. Makeup of chains. I remember that. Theft in the dark. What is the quote on this? He's actually willing to sacrifice his life for her? What will be profit from that? What will he profit from that? Oh. Weird that the quotes are really uh, hard to read. They're actually really tiny on these cards. Ultimate test. Whoop. Cool. Oh man, he had a great mohawk. Look at that. I forgot. I forgot about the sweet mohawk. And I think he had an Australian accent. God, it's been too long. It's been really long. I don't remember. I'll definitely uh, link to the wiki page that talks about like how to play this card game. But... Not that I really have any way to play it, but in case you guys are curious... These are cool. Oh, we got another ultra rare. Let's see. She she. That's cool. There's actually a print line right above the head there. That looks cool. That blue really works well on this uh, scratched hollow pattern. Hospital bed. Aww. I gotta admit, there were some real moments, some real tearjerker kind of moments in this series, and that's what made it so good. It, it didn't have very many, but it had enough, along with all the badassery, to make it really worth it. Fever of Fury. Must have been one of the first cards I got. Theft in the Dark. <laughs> Mistaken Fatality! Look at Yusuke. He feels gypped. That is funny. In other words, your death was a complete and utter waste. Good. Good quote. I like that. You want to tell me I don't have a spine now? Aw, oh, these quotes are gold. Oh, cool. That would have been great as a hollow, just because it's the main character. Yusuke. Resurrected. That's really funny. Okay. 
Sorry if this one's really long, guys. I did not mean for this to go on as long as it has. I should have split the box, but I didn't even think of it because I didn't know how good these cards would be. And I didn't think I would be talking about them as long as I have. Alright, we gotta finish this box out and figure out... Whoa! Headbutt! Yeah! That's a good one. It's a good card. Rugby! Foul! Oh, cool. The Ice Master. Another one of those really cool blue hollows. You can really see it in the light there. That's cool. Cold Aggression. I can't believe how many of these ended up having hollows. I wasn't even expecting hollows. Alright, last four packs, guys. Let's save Cool Bar for last, just because I want to do that. Woo! Also, these packs are really old, so they actually are really sticky, so I can open them and kind of preserve a pack if I want. But it's really messy. Alright, back into this. I'm sorry, I had a call on my phone. And uh, get back to these cards here. Kibano. Wow, that is an intense card. And it's funny that this card always seems to end up being one of the last ones because it's a rare. Let me just cut this one. I'll try to keep the other two packs. Alright. Let's see here. This Evil Tendencies card is so funny. Teamwork. Aww. Banzai Missile. Spirit Sword Double. That's cool. Who else just loves dual wielding in a game? I do. Alright, I'm gonna try to preserve these. Try to open them. Yeah, they're really stuck. Normally I don't care about card packs, but I just really like these. And I know I'm never going to open cards like this again. Alright, back to that disguise. There's going to be a lot of card sorting after this. Spirit Gun Focus. I like the colors on that card, that's really cool. Improvised weapon. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Ah, kitty love. That's a great card. <laughs> That's a rare? That is a rare card. Oh god, I love it. Oh man. Ooh. Last pack. Did not open with grace. That's okay. That's probably just Kuwabara's style, yeah? Okay, cool. The last pack, not expecting anything. I think I got all the rare cards already. But this opening has been great. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I should have split the box. Oh well, live and learn. Hie! Finally Hie! I was wondering why we uh, didn't get Hie on one of these character cards. Great card to finish up on. I'm going to pull out all my rares and we can review them. Alright guys, here are the holographic ultra rares that I pulled out of this box. And I really don't know how much is supposed to be in a box or what these are worth, but that doesn't matter. This is just purely for collecting purposes. So Dragon of the Darkness Flame. Awesome. Power Strike. God, that card looks so cool. Here's what that hollow looks like. Burst of power. Nice hollow on that. The Genkai Bunch. 
hilarious. And then Suzuku, Makai Master, Shishi Wakamaru, the Soul Stealer, and Toya, the Ice Master. So all in all, that was fantastic. What's that, seven cards? Yeah, seven. All from this box. And they're beautiful, and the cards themselves are just hilarious and awesome. And I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I did. If you haven't uh, ever seen any Yu Yu Hakusho, I totally suggest it. It's an awesome series, awesome manga, and this has been a blast. I'm so glad I could share this with you guys, and I'm hoping to bring more strange and awesome cards and figures in the future. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye, guys.